Good kitten internet. I've just ordered food. Oh, right. I wanted to fix the chair situation. I can raise this up a more. There we go. That should be good enough. All right. So let's try that again, shall we? Let's go with a new game on normal and random. Hmm. Crystal B. So Crystal B is a boarding ship. Um, something I should point out immediately. We've got a four pad teleporter immediately. We have cloaking immediately. A three socket mid bay. We've got everything other than weapons. We have zero weapons at all. This is a fun ship in my mind. Um, we're going to want to pick up weapons, but we don't have to for a while. Um, the one downside is that the auto ships will ruin our day, <laughs> basically. There's no way around that until we get a weapon. Um, I've ordered food, by the way, so I am going to have to pause this at some point. But, yep. Um, food's supposed to take, like, half an hour, roughly. Uh, looks like I have not destroyed ten rock ships using the Crystal Cruiser. Let's see if we can pull that off. Uh, otherwise, I have beaten both A and B on normal before, so this is possible. So let us welcome Vivamord, Nazia, and Phillips to the crew. Let's go. May this one go better than the last one. That was terrible. Oh, we also start with zero missiles and zero drone parts. Good to know. But hey, we've got teleporters. We need more crew. So I want to try to find a store pretty quickly. And hopefully not run into any freaking auto scouts. Yes, I will aid a civilian ship. All right. Everybody on board. Go to the teleporter. Everybody teleport to weapons. And Phillips, you're going to immediately lock down. Nazia, you will also lock down. We are going to use the cloaking bay to dodge. Because that weapon looked nasty. They have no healing, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, piloting. We lost a crew member? I was not paying attention. How did that happen? Whoops. Maybe we'll just restart this run now. Yeah, let's just restart this run now. Sorry about that. I was not mentioned. Uh, we were at Crystal B. Crystal B. There we go. So welcome to the crew. Maxwell, Justin, and Felicity. Sorry, this is what happens when I'm distracted by being hungry. <laughs> Distress beacon, let's go! Uh, let's destroy and loot the ship. All right. Everybody on the ship, please enter teleportation bay. We're going to teleport into the weapons area and lock it down. Maxwell issuing out the lockdown immediately. And we will dodge the missile. There we go. That's better. Uh, Justin, go ahead and issue out your lockdown, because I want those weapons destroyed before I do anything else. Thanks. I'm going to take one hit. I can't do anything about that. Cameras. I'm going to preemptively open that because I have no way of knowing if there's fire there or not. And fire would be bad. Yep, there we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Sweet. 
Recall. All three of you, please report to the med bay. So one thing I'm going to want to do pretty quickly is upgrade teleporters. Um, I'm saving up scrap for a while just so I can make sure that I can pick up a weapon if I find one. But the reason why we want to pick up teleporter level 2 pretty fast is that the difference between level 1 and level 2 is the cooldown time. Level 1 is usually not enough for surviving certain types of enemies. Level 2 is. So in other words, I can teleport somebody, a group over there, and if I run into bad things, I can teleport them back before they die. Since I have a med bay and not a cloning bay, that's generally a better plan. Um, I also need crew badly. Also, please repair that. That ding is an email telling me I've ordered food, isn't it? I'm just ordering Domino's. Um, they let me know that I was about to lose points on my rewards, and I was very close to getting a free pizza. Free is a good price. Okay. Let's go. Up there is dumb. I'd have to go back through the Distress Beacon location. Let's go down. Again, I cannot handle certain types of enemies, and that is one of them. Okay. Okay, good. They just have beams, so we're going to just focus on getting away. That's fine. Honestly, you should probably just be in shields rather than in weapons. Weapons doesn't do me any good. I don't have weapons. Um... I need that FTL drive to charge faster. So I'm going to start having solar flares, and that's going to light things on fire. I'm going to eat a solar flare. Okay. That's not too bad. There we go. Done. Uh, I should be able to jump before the next flare. I cannot fight that ship. I mean, yeah, their weapon systems are down. All I can do is take hits, and I would be taking damage every single flare, which is not great. The way that I fight a ship that has seven hit points is by taking seven hit points of my own. That's bad and not worth it. I would rather just run. I wish I had a weapon, but I don't. Even a normal pew pew would have actually been enough. If this is a distress call there, that's a bad plan. I'm going to go there first. I really need a weapon. There's nothing there. That was a waste of fuel. Didn't know. Distress call. It was a trap! Ah, oh, crap. The other thing I can't do is go through a Zoltan shield. Cool. I have no weapon. And you cannot teleport through a Zoltan shield. They hit me anyway through the cloak. Meanie heads. Uh, upgrading this would also be nice. I'm going to have to eat the hits. I took one. That's not too bad. See, I'm even... It's only an 80% chance of dodging because I have such crappy engines. But there's nothing I can do right now. Which sucks. I've gotten next to no scrap. Aid the civilian ship. This one I can do something about. Everybody, please report to teleport to pay one. To transporter room one. There we go. Get my Star Trek in. Oh crap, I'm still recharging cloaking. This might suck. Because that's an ion cannon. Felicity, lockdown. Jill, or sorry, Maxwell, also lockdown. Ah, uh, Felicity's gonna have problems. Damn it, I should have noticed that that was a Mantis. Uh, I should be able to get in fast enough. Wait, yeah. 
There we go. That will work. Okay. Cloak. Oh no, my weapons are down. Ah. All right. I have gained one fuel, one drone part, 20 scrap, and an anti-personnel drone. No more life signs detected on the ship. Also, my food will be arriving in 10 minutes-ish. And, yes, the crew is saved or badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at the nearby battle station. One offers to join your crew. Welcome aboard, Tomas. Tomas, congratulations. You are now piloting. Oh, yeah, there's no cooldown time when there's no danger going on. So, that's nice. All right, repair everybody up. Send all three to go repair the weapons bay, just because might as well. Just in case if I ever actually get a weapon. All right. Who's going where? You are now no longer going there. You're going... Do I want to go door control? No, I want to go camera control, actually. Damas, you now have piloting forever. Save those stations. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a merchant mercenary ship to aid him. Sure. Great, I was wondering, I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need to deliver a cargo of drone parts to another, to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but they'll, will surely tip you generously. Sure, why not? They've given me five drone parts, and I could just run, but I don't need to. Yep, I should be able to make that, barely. We will, however, go to the store. I only have 52 scrap, but I'm hoping that they have something. They don't. I can sell this for 17. Drones would not be bad if I can actually do anything with them. I can't, though. Pick up another crew member, but I can only pick up Enki. Which is not really what I want. Uh, augmentations, I can pick up a shield charge booster or emergency respirators. Emergency respirators aren't very useful in my mind. Automated reloader is nice if I actually had weapons. I don't. Uh, and those drones aren't even useful even if I did have a drone bay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hull repair drones, not terrible. And system repair drones, not terrible. Especially when I'm going to have no crew on my ship. But these are not useful. Go ahead and sell that. Thinking about picking up Kusi. Before I do that, okay, there's not another spot there. Oh, I'm going to have problems reaching the exit, aren't I? Yep, we're picking up Kusi. Welcome aboard, Kusi. Your new spot is door control. The reason why Kusi is in door control is because Kusi runs fast. So this is our first Mantis crew member. I should probably introduce that, shouldn't I? So, Mantis inflict one and a half times as much damage in combat. So 50% more damage and 20% higher movement speed. The downside is have repair speed, which we have enough other crew where that's not a big deal. It's really only a big deal on an all Mantis ship, in my mind. Oh, lovely. A pirate ship was landing in the... Like, I cannot speak! This is the same day as the previous um, failed run, by the way. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. Immediately moves in to attack. Okay. Um, you all, please report to the teleportation bay. Your weapons are annoying. I am teleporting into weapons, though. 
The reason why I wanted to teleport into weapons specifically is because I don't want their shields to go down. The re because otherwise I'm in danger of like not being able to kill off the ship before the ship just dies from the asteroid field. It's one of the potential downsides of this type of place. Oak. So I want their weapons down because then it's safer. Completely down in this case. Okay. Weapons are completely down. Moving in to finish off the rest of the crew. There are no more life signs of it remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Yes, please. And waiting for this to recharge because, again, we are in a danger situation. Teleport everybody back. Um, Felicity and Kusi, please report to Medbay 1. Thank you. And we can sit here while we're waiting for everything to recharge. Please return to your stations. Ah, they have... The pizza delivery driver has left the Domino's. Delicious food coming. Okay, everybody is ready. I'm not going to sit here and grind. Oh, I am going to have to fight the Rebel fleet at the exit. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You're supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. Find a small research station and discover it's putting out a distress signal. Means there's no response to your hails. Let's dock with the station and figure out what's going on. You duck with the station to see a frantic person banging on the airlock door. Once inside your ship, he drops to the floor saying, My friends, they've all gone insane. They're calling! You hand him a blaster and turn to see a number of people charging toward your ship. All right. They have all gone into Cloaking Bay. Well, sucks to be them because I'm going to start um, gassing them out. On the plus side, we have a new crew member. Yet another new crew member. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with the crew member, but, you know, we have one. Are you... yeah, you're a noob. Yeah, they did take out my cloaking, unfortunately, so I did take one hull. Yep, fight, fighting in the med bay is always fun. They're not going to do well. We'll just put it that way. Unfortunately, they were strong enough where they can take out my cloaking bay really easily. All right, all done. Two of you go off to repair, and what in the world am I going to do with another crew member? Uh, I probably shouldn't have bought that mantis then. Didn't realize it at the time. Um, you can be assigned to doors. You'll be assigned to weapons? Technically, that's a position you can be assigned to. Doesn't help because I don't have weapons. Um, no, you're actually in weapons. You're actually in doors. Once people get there, I will reassign locations and be done. There we go. Right, jump. And slow down pursuit by jumping in there. It's not going to help too much, but it'll help some. More intruders. Kind of make sure I'm okay. Get them 
out of there. Finish that one off. I think I'll be okay. Yep, I'm okay. Good. Victory. Everybody go back to medbay because you all are really hurt. Sorry for pause. Got a message. Uh, looks like pizza delivery driver is delivering another pizza first, which is fine. Domino's tends to have molten hot pizza as it is, so. What I would really want is rather than these encounters that give me no reward, is that, you know, yeah, that's the problem. I'm There's no way I can stop the fleet. Unless if this event allows me to stop it, I'm going to have to fight the rebels there. Which sucks. I really need a weapon. Oh yeah, that encounter is definitely not going to help. Your weapons can hurt me. You four. Please report to Transporter Bay 1. Teleport over to here. Cloak. I still hit things. I even have somebody in the engine room now. Oh, no, I have. Yeah, I guess I don't have enough evasion right now. Hmm. Um, really, I would prefer you two to fight. Looking bays down, unfortunately, which sucks. Uh, okay. No more life signs. Everybody get to a big room. I can teleport all of you back home. Looking by being down didn't really affect all that much anyway. Let the two of them start repairing. ETA is now one minute. Don't think they're making it one minute. More like three. Right. You two start heading back. Go there for now. Luckily, shields do come back online fast enough, even without having somebody manning shields. Manning. I don't like that term. Should change that. Everybody return to stations. Yeah, Felicity's probably got next to nothing in shields. Yeah, that's not too surprising. Really only leveling up melee combat at this point. Justin... You know what? Justin and Felicity, please swap locations. So I've got a reason for that. Um, it's namely that Justin is closer to leveling up on melee combat, and I'm going to need that, whereas Felicity is really far behind on melee combat. So I would rather have the melee combat. Ooh, there's a store there. Might as well go. It's not going to hurt. Just cost one fuel. I always buy fuel. Buy more crew. Still can't buy weaponry. Oh, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Food's just about here. How am I going to work with this? Usually you find a weapon somewhere in the first sector. All right, time to go to the exit beacon and take a massive amount of damage. Oh, I probably should have healed first now that I think about it. All right. You four, go to the te teleporter now. Probably should have just moved you in advance. You are teleporting to weapon system. And... Maxwell, you're going to immediately enter lockdown because there is a healing station there. I need to kill people. Damn it. 
I got hit before I was able to throw down the... Uh, Justin, you're going to renew the lockdown. I need to take out their weapons, otherwise I'm dead. Oh no, you took out my weapons? Ah! Uh, Felicity. Go ahead and issue out a lockdown. Oh, oh derp. That's in there. Oh. This should actually work. Might actually be able to take them out depending on how high level that is. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes, okay. This is viable now. Got it. Took them out, which means I gained one fuel and that's it. My food's arrived. Cloak. Ah, they hit me anyway, damn it. My food is here. I will be right back. And I'm back. I have pizza up. I have grabbed more water. Let's try to dodge the cannon so I can run away. There we go. Next sector. That went well. Uh, so we can go to Mantis sector or a civilian sector. Given how beat up we are, I'm starting to think civilian sector would be better. I mean, I know we have multiple Mantis crew, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go for something easier because we're really beat up right now. Okay. Now that we've done that, uh, the two of you... Felicity, please go heal. Kusi, you can heal by walking back and forth. Yep, okay. Alright. First off, open it up. Start repairing. We can heal, so I'm less concerned about, you know, people. There we go, we've sealed the hole. Maxwell, okay. Now we can at least see our ship to realize that is also injured. Go heal as well, or go repair as well. Kusi, you can go back into sick bay for the moment or two that it'll take. Three of you go back to sick bay. On here. So, we need a weapon. Badly. Really badly. Ready to go back to stations. There's a store. I don't have any money. They have weapons. Small bombs. That's actually not terrible. Can I fish up ain't money? I would have to sell Crystal Vengeance, which is a counterattack chance. That's not a terrible idea. I actually don't like Crystal Vengeance, so it's basically a 10% chance that you fling something at the enemy, which having a boarding crew, that's not necessarily what you want to do. So I will go ahead and sell Crystal Vengeance. Um, backup DNA bank is only for cloning storage. FTL recharge booster is not a terrible thing. Extraction bu buoys are nice. I'd love to get hacking. I definitely can't afford that. Small bombs is not necessarily the worst. I only have four missiles. It's my one bit of reluctance on doing that. But it would allow me to do that and also mostly repair the ship. Entirely repair if I really wanted to. The small bombs are enough for me to be able to... Uh -huh. Problem is that they're actually not enough for me to do what I need. Laser charger sounds better. I guess that's what I'm going to do. I can't equip it right now, though. I need more scrap first. How much is it going to cost me to upgrade my weapons? 40. Definitely can't equip it right now. Even if I don't repair my ship at all.
Also requires three power. Do I go for that? And just to hope that I get enough scrap? I mean, I'm also low on everything right now because I had such a crappy first level. Or first uh, sector. All Smasher Laser. That's not terrible. I still can't afford to upgrade, but it would only take one upgrade to get that. But the charge time on it's terrible, but as long as I'm only using it to fight when I can't board, that's not that big of a deal, and having Hull Smashing is probably a good plan. I'm picking that up. How much do I repair? There's another store. I'm going north. Sorry, I don't have any extra explosives. Would have been nice if I did, because then I could have done something with those missiles. I only need one more. Seven fuel for two missiles? Yes, please. Yet another store. Why are all the stores when I have no money? Dang it. So I keep moving over to the right. Okay, automated system. And it's going to try to run away. I can't do anything about that. It's going to succeed at running. I mean, I can take out their weapons so I don't take that much damage, and that's about it. And even that would be a risk. Oxygen down. Go ahead and repair that. Weapons are offline. Not exactly the person I want repairing, but that's fine. Dodge. Thank you. And they teleported. Yep. I know. I know. I didn't have a choice. So I have no way of actually hitting them. So even if I had the small bomb, I could have probably taken them out, but only probably. I would have had to have used all of my missiles, not traded the missiles away for the fuel. And yeah, in general, that's just not a great plan. Uh, Kusi, report to the med bay. This is just not great in general. Get there. Hope that the store. Uh, hope that I have enough scrap for the store. I guess. Improve reactor for two missiles and three ground parts. Sure. I have no use of either of those. Oh yeah, this is a worthless jump. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice. I could have had a halberd beam. Or chain ion. Holy crap! I could have had chain ion. Actually, that wouldn't have helped for the situation that I need. It would have helped against one of them. Um, an ion charger. It. Those are some really nice weapons. Mind control is very helpful when you have a boarding strategy, too. And there's Debbie. Um. Nope. Wasted system is wasted. I need enough... Scrap to upgrade. Intruders. Where are you at, intruders? You're there. Well, you're an idiot. I'll just sit there. But we'll go there. Oh, they actually did take out my sensors first. Dang it. Oh, well. <sighs> 
I don't like intruder alerts because I don't get scrap from it. <sighs> Grumble. Keep having these events that I don't get scrap from. This has been a terrible start to this. And this ship's a really good ship. It's just... Uh... Close all doors. Jump. Okay. I want to do that. Hey, look, it's another thing that I can't target. Rumble. Having my hull destroyed as a result of this, too. Oh, hey, look, they hit piloting even though I'm cloaked. Great. You freaking kidding me? Just trying to leave, damn it. <sighs> I have not been able to do a single encounter here. At least I got something out of that. Okay, you're going to there. You're going to, I don't know. There. Kusi. Actually, no, I take that back. You're going to go to shields. Or the, how is Justin doing on shields? Justin's learned next to nothing about shields. Cool. Yeah, you're going to shields. All right. Luckily, we were able to cloak to get around the stupid freaking auto scouts. I don't care if they have no shields. I can't do anything about it. Not without sacrificing people. All right. I am one scrap off of being able to buy something. One. One. Also nearly dead. Going great. Oh, hey, look, nothing. What's waiting for me at the exit? How are you going to screw me over this time, game? Nothing. That's how you're screwing me over. I'm going to have to hit the nebula because I don't think I'd survive the rock controlled stuff. Actually, I probably would. There's not, probably not too many auto scouts there now that I think about it. Also, I just noticed Tomas is injured. Tomas, please report to the med bay. Tomas, Captain Tomas, please return to your station. Save stations. Uh, not going up. I'm going to go there. I want a normal fight. You find a slug cruiser and a rock ship at a standoff, both with weapons armed and ready to fight. You could intervene before this gets out of control. Kill them, see what's wrong. The slug, slug captain explains that they've upgraded the rock ship's reactor and now the thick boulder heads are refusing to pay for the work done. The rock captain says that the slime balls did a poor job that's not worth their agreed upon price. So I can either pay off the rock debt, demand that the rock pay the agreed price, or just leave. Oh, one moment. All right, so there's uh, this particular event. If I pay off the rock debt, 
the slug captain will be grateful and give me a reward of some variety, which might be upgrading my engines again. Problem is that I need that scrap for actually being able to upgrade weapons so I can do anything. Um, if I demand the rock ship pay the agreed upon price, there's a three different ways that can go. One, they do, and the slug captain is grateful and insert reward here. Two, they go, how dare you and attack me? which I'm okay with. I'm not doing great on hull, though. I really like to heal. Or three, um, they could just blow up parts of my ship. It would drop my hull by five, which would drop me down to one hull, and I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, hey, look, five damage to hull. Damn it. All I wanted was to just... Ah, this is going great. Everything's fine. This is the distress beacon. I should go there because I'm totally prepared for distress calls. I'll search the ship. You find the decay remains of some type of ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But... One of the weapons appears to be salvageable, and there's this strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Looks like a massive asteroid is in direct collision course with the derelict ship. You have to pull your crew back out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do they take? The weapon or the stasis chamber? I'm going to go for the weapon and any spare scrap, because I need the scrap, and the weapon might actually be useful. It's a hull smasher laser. Your crew grabs what they can and returns to the ship before the asteroid hits. Take a look at what they've recovered once you move clear of the asteroid field. Hull laser, hull laser. I have two different hull lasers. This would be great if I actually had power. <laughs> Which I do now. So I actually can fire weaponry now. Unfortunately, I'm nearly dead. Oh, that was a dead end. That was not a great plan. I'll go there, then there, I guess. <coughs> Things are not looking up for the ship, by the way. Speaking of not looking up. Or if you go there. Teleport. So if I can take out their weapons fast enough, I might not be able to... I might be able to take hits. The problem being that I'm going to have to deal with this as well. So, I can do a little bit of both. Hear me out. Teleport into there. Have Magne and Kusei immediately run to weapons. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I threw an Engie in there by accident. <coughs> Lock down that room. That should help. Cloak to avoid the missile. Thank you. Run before they die. Alright, I need to try to get that cloaking chamber down as fast or cloning chamber down as fast as I can. Um Maxwell's nearly dead. But I'm pretty sure there's no other crew on the ship. Actually, Ariel. Yep, okay, got it. Now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually, you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew, Nathan, who has captaining experience. Are you a better captain than Tomas? Yes. That's not hard. All right, you need to come back. That was a little close for comfort. Bring everybody back.
finish healing up. Okay, as long as I can heal at some point, I should actually be okay now. Oh, well, okay is relative. I still have one uh, tier one shields. Ugh. Ready to go back to station. Uh, Tomas, you have been demoted from captain. Your new position is um, cloning, uh, cloaking chamber. Sure. Yeah, this is the four that I need to grab. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely going to die. Solar activity. Cool. Four of you get over there. Teleport into weapons. Immediately lock down weapons. And we only have one person to deal with. I'm gonna dodge their missile. Which I'm doing now. Go ahead and relock down. I want to take out their weapons as fast as I can. Okay, got their weapons. Solar flare is imminent. The best that I can do is empty out the ship other than the rooms that I'm standing in. The reason for that is that that way if the fire, so solar flare is going to cause fire to happen on my ship. If the fire happens to hit a room that's one of the ones that has no oxygen, it probably won't be able to continue to do damage. If it's in one of the rooms that I have somebody in, I have somebody there to be able to put out the fire. I need to try to take out that fire as fast as possible. Fire is in the hallway. Okay, I'm good. That's fine. Probably won't spread. Okay. Found another crew member. Cool. Uh, yeah. You are of no current skills. Could get rid of Ariel. Hamas. I don't think I want to, actually. I think block is not really all that useful to me. Okay. Bring everybody back home, because that ship is going to die. And jump. I have the move, but I'm going to jump now because I don't. Oh. This should be okay. I forgot to actually give. Tomas, your position was where again? Oh, that's right. You're over in cloaking. Nathan, you're actually there. Solar flare is imminent. I'm teleporting. We're teleporting there. Would have liked to have healed people first. Really would have liked to have healed people first. I have to teleport back, and I don't have people fully healed. Not great. Not you. You. Teleport into weapons. We want to take them out, too. Cloak. If I can take them out fast enough, I don't have to care about their weapons. Did it. Good. Ooh. 
there's some really sketchy things that I've been doing. Kusi, uh, Maxwell, Magne, I'm just going to have you run back and forth. Okay. Everybody back to positions, this time actually saving the stations that I keep forgetting to do. Whoops. Close doors on the ship. Keep forgetting that too. I actually have a decent amount of scrap now. I should upgrade something. Like, oh, I don't know. Shields. That sounds like a good plan. Let's not die immediately. Distress beacon. We're low on fuel. That sucks. Uh, alien spiders are no joke, but we lost Kusi. Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachnid bursts out from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock but are for and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. I'm sorry, Kusi. Well, Felicity, congratulations on being re-promoted. Back to weapons, I guess. Damn, I would have much preferred having Kusi. But that's fine. That's the reason why. So I knew that there's a very high chance of that particular event causing somebody to die. It's kind of legendary in the FTL community. But I have a maxed out crew. I wasn't as concerned. I just wish it would have been somebody else. Kusi was one of my best fighters. Agnes is pretty good too, though. Go down there. I'm trying to find some way of getting fuel. A rock captain hails you. It is improper of me to contact off-worlders, but this is an emergency. We're on our way to deliver our passenger to our new husband, the Grand Basilisk of Numa 5, when our engines broke down. Will you take possession of her and make haste to Numa 5? Sure. You surprised me, off-worlder. Thank you. Passenger will be with you momentarily. She refuses to enter the main hold and prefers to wait in the cargo bay. Added a quest marker. I don't know if I've done this quest before. Okay. There is a store. It will at least let me heal and buy up fuel. That's worth the one fuel. I can sell a hull laser for 27 if I need to. I might need to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to sell a hull laser. As much as that makes me sad, because hull, laser, hull smashers are actually pretty good. Um, I mean, that will buy me 13 hull. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to encounter. Okay, we're doing a lot better now. Much as I would have liked to have not sold off one of our weapons, but we couldn't power it anyway, and it was going to take an additional uh, 60 scrap to be able to power it, not counting the additional power as well. It's probably okay. There, 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 there. That's the plan. Let's go. 53 minutes. This is probably the last sector that we'll do tonight. Oh, well, crap. You were immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Welcome to Miss Uncle Joe's Fix-It Shop. Need a tune-up? We've got you covered. What's your specialty? Upgrading sensors for 15 scrap. Sorry. I would take it normally, but I don't have 15 scrap. I am totally screwed on fuel. The vast tunnel network near the surface of Numa 5 indicates an advanced rock civilization. This must be where you need or ask to deliver the passenger. Realizing arrival is imminent, the passenger, silent so far, pleads with you not to hand her over. She's interrupted by the Grand Basilisk's chief aide. To the alien vessel holding the Basilisk's wife, deliver to us. You'll be rewarded well. So, one of the things that you pretty much have to do in normal mode is look up some of these. Because there's so many bad things that can happen that, um, yeah. 
that you kind of need to know about this, and unfortunately, I do have to do this. Um, yeah. No, we're actually being nice. I was led to believe your kind did not know mercy. I will join you, but quickly, we must jump away. It will not tolerate. She's interrupted by weapons fire from the Basilisk's escort. Okay, this battle doesn't look to be too bad. And we also gained Adrian, who is really good at shields. Well, Ariel, congratulations. Uh, Ariel, you're going to go all the way back there. We're also going to take the four of you. It's time to go board. I'm a little concerned about that laser. Luckily, I don't think it's going to be a pro. I'm actually, I don't think they could break through. That might be a halberd laser. We're going to. So there's two rock aboard the ship. We might be able to just kill them without anything else because there's no healing in here. Okay, we took out the thing I was concerned about anyway, so we're fine. Yep, this is the way we're doing it. So, it was basically a, there was going to be a fight that way. I didn't know what the reward was for giving the wife up. It wasn't worth it. His escort eliminated. The Grand Basilisk dispatches his entire fleet. There's just enough time to take your pick from the wreck before you jump out of their reach. One missile, one drone part, 37 scrap. We really needed the scrap. Um, I'm guessing that's the medium reward, because there's a high reward as well. Handing her over, we would have ended up getting a low amount of scrap and a random augmentation. Which, admittedly, the augmentation would have been nice. But... Eh. Oh yeah. Crap. Forgot. I had not reassigned positions yet. There we go. Get everybody up to their... Uh, human. Your weapons. Aren't you? We're going to say your weapons. Save locations, Felicity and Maxwell. Go ahead and report to Medbay 1. Once you are healed, please report back to your stations. I thank you very much. We have three fuel. I was really hoping to get fuel out of that. We do have a store, though. I think I have enough to hit both. So I can at least buy fuel in the store. Well, I'm glad I actually upgraded my freaking shields you four four please report to transporter room one for immediate departure teleport into their weapon system Cloak, so I don't get hit by that nastiness. Good. Ah, we got fuel. Good. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Do you see why I like a boarding strategy? It's because I have a crap weapon that I only have for the events that I can't actually fight any other way. And I'm actually doing okay. Just need to wait for transporters to come back online. Transporters are back online. Please return to the ship. Justin and Felicity, please report to Medbay 1. I wonder what this game would be like with voice controls. That'd be interesting. Speaking of voice controls, I actually have a game that's based off of voice controls. I actually backed it on Kickstarter way back when. Uh, it's called There Came an Echo. And I still have yet to play it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, can I make it to that exit? I don't think I can. I'm mm, gonna hit the exit. I'll find out if this was a bad idea. Uh, scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Let's go investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are the small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Would they be what your scans picked up? 
So we can either try to communicate peacefully, bring some of the sh creatures on board to sell, or leave. If I remember right, communicate peacefully doesn't have a chance of failure, as in failure is just nothing happens. Bringing them on board to sell, the failure is much nastier. Uh, FTL, please. I'm going to double check that really fast. Uh, yeah, peaceful. Yep, peaceful. Ooh, nice! None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want to f you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old Engi ship's crash site. Inside, you're able to find and reactivate an Engi. Three fuel, two missiles, 16 scrap, a halberd beam, which thank you, and to 10, who's good at melee. I'm probably going to ditch to 10. I mean, Ariel is strictly better for what I care about because, Engie, you're terrible at melee. I thought Ariel's barely learned anything about shields. Actually, Ariel, go away. You're at least higher level, and you're not doing shields anyway. Welcome aboard to 10. Now we'll abandon a different person on the surface of the planet. And... I was right. They are moving fast enough where I need to hit the next sector. And that's where we're going to stop for now. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. This was a bit of a bumpy ride. This is more like normal FTL. Talk to you next time. Bye!